hi everyone welcome to my channel so today we are going to design this beautiful fascinator with just a cardboard paper okay so stay tuned so right now i am going to use what i used was just um, a bucket lid um, or a bucket cover so depending on the size of the fascinator you want you can either use a plate or anything and trace the size of that lid onto a cardboard paper i am using a box that i have kept for some time and i made two of these with the shape of the lid that i used or of the cover that i used and i'm going to use this material to do my lining or to do my outer part of the fascinator and as you can see i am going to trace the cardboard paper or the hard paper on the material with the same method that i used for the bucket cover or the plate whichever item that you are using to draw your circle i am making two of these as well and when you are done with tracing the cardboard paper with the material make sure that you are cutting it oversized so you will not cut it according to the size of the cardboard paper that you measured as we did for the cardboard but then you cut it oversized when we get to the other slides you'll see so as you can see i am going to use the oversized material to do what i am coming to do next and that is what i meant by cutting it oversized and you would lay the cardboard paper on the wrong side of the material so you realize that when i place it at the center it is smaller than that of the material and here i'm going to use the top bond white glue for this project i am applying the white glue with my brush at the very tip end of the cardboard paper and i'm going to use the material to attach to where i have applied the glue and you have to hold the paper at the center or the cardboard paper at the center so that your material would be very firm at the size that you are attaching onto the cardboard paper so it would go round and round and round make sure it is very firm and you are not making any holes during the attachment and over here i am creating about one inch space um, on the cardboard paper to allow me fold the cardboard paper into a fascinator um, size or into the fascinator look if I may say and um, you can actually choose to measure but most of the times I do not measure I just cut it according to how I see it but make sure that it is in the middle you are cutting through to the middle and make sure it is just about an inch or half and you should be good to go just as I have cut mine and you see where the material is cut where the cardboard paper you have cut you have to open the material just into two equal parts to make sure that it is just between where you have cut the cardboard paper i hope you get the picture <laughs> so where you cut the material into two you just fold it and then fold it across the cutoff point or the cutoff part of the cardboard paper and here i was trying to attach the two cardboard papers together with the glue but then it wasn't bonding well so i ended up using my glue gun to bond the two if you are new to my channel you are warmly welcome please subscribe and tap on the notification button so that you don't miss any video that i upload thank you so as you can see i am laying one side of the cutoff part across the other okay so the fascinator would be like um a, a big funnel so that part would be like a big funnel and as you can see i am using my glue gun to bond where i am laying on top of the other so that it becomes like a very good shape for you to be able to put it on top of your head I'm going to use this ribbon that I designed. I hope you know how to design a ribbon. If not, you can get this from any fashion accessory store and you can get yourself a beautiful ribbon according to the color you prefer. 
so i am attaching it to the side which is showing you see the cardboard paper is like showing at that side there so i'm going to cover it with the flour please make sure it is secured and for my ultimate glamorous look this is the ribbon i'm going to use or the trim it's actually a trim so i got it from a fashion accessory store and i think you can get it at any fashion accessory store around you um you can use either a golden color or a silver color or a different kind of tool and um, trim that you prefer to design your fascinator so this is what i want and this is how i want my fascinator to look so i cut it into different trims so the trims have four continuous and um, so it continues into four different parts and i cut it according to how i want it to be shaped so i am basically applying a glue gun to make sure that it is securing at every part that i really want it to cover so that is basically it and um, that is basically what you have to do so as you can see i am just cutting it off and then placing it on the fascinator with my glue gun and making sure that it is firmly secured because the fascinator is in a circular shape you have to make sure that all any trim that you are using at all is being placed according to how the fascinator is shaped okay so you have to make sure that you have to place it on top of the fascinator but then place it in a circular mode so that you can really get the dimension look after you are done So over here, I realized that the hole there was too small for me to continue with the, with the continuous trims. So I cut them into one one and decided to place them on top individually to continue the circular um, shape. So make sure that everywhere of your fascinator is filled and you are following the shape of the circle as you move along to really give it a very nice look in the end. So I'm going to use this fake feathers <laughs> to just um Add a little elements to the fascinator it's it's very it's absolutely optional so i'm attaching the headband onto the space that we folded on on top of each other and you have to apply the glue just at the center of that particular cutout part so this is the reason we had to cut off some part of the fascinator to give it a final look and then place our headbands at that part and I'm covering the other openings of the fascinator where I cut and covering it with the individual trims that I cut into singles. So basically from here, the most important thing is cutting your fascinator wall and placing it on top of each other. And this is the final look guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section and let me know if you have any questions. And if you are new to my channel, again, please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for my next video. Take care of yourself and bye-bye. See you some other time. Bye.